the phenomenon that's in the press right now so much is that there are various groups of uh, biologists out there just do, taking DNA samples. They go back to the lab. They might sequence a particular gene, a mitochondrial gene, and they see some level of divergence in that gene, and it's, say, geographically specific. They go out and call it a new species. I think that's uh, irresponsible, <laughs> frankly. I mean, it's, it's understandable why one is motivated to describe as many species as are valid, because certainly if you can say to the powers that be, the, the governmental authorities, the, the, the people who have the means to protect a forest, if you say there is a species of lemur that lives in this forest that lives nowhere else on Madagascar in the world, uh, we need to protect that forest. You, you just have much more political power and clout if you can say that. However, if we start um, abusing that and s naming everything a species just because there's a little bit of genetic distinction, I think we lose credibility as scientists. And so soon, someday, you know, if this continues uh, unabated, there's going to be a point where everybody gets bored and says, oh, yeah, a new lemur species, who cares? You know, we heard that last week. So I, my particular view is that you need to do a very careful analysis of morphology, behavior, ecology, genetics, and there are a lot of very powerful and fancy statistical methods where you can look at the DNA or the, the genetic distribution of genes in populations and compare them and actually postulate back in time when populations stopped sharing genes. And if you can do all of those things, then you're good. And then you call that a new species.